what's up everybody this is Jen and welcome to my beginner theory course in this lesson we're gonna talk about memorizing the notes on the fifth string or our A string this is gonna be really important when we start talking about finding roots building chords and learning scales in different keys so definitely take the time to start learning these notes because it's only gonna help you I promise it might be frustrating but it'll help you take your medicine <laughs> okay so we know our fifth string is A go to the second fret we have B now right next to the B is a C on the third fret that's a naturally occurring half step now we're gonna go to the fifth fret which is D jump up to the seventh fret which is E now we're gonna do another naturally occurring half step to F which is our eighth fret go to 10 which is G and then up to 12 for A so that's our octave A so we have A here and A here but you hear the difference in pitch that's an octave so now it's really important that you start memorizing what we call natural notes so natural notes are notes with no sharps no flats so you noticed it seemed like I kind of picked random random frets to go to but it's the frets that have our natural note so A B C D E F G A now of course music isn't just in natural notes right we have sharps and flats but the way that you reference those sharps and flats is to learn the naturals first now now that you know the naturals you can find your sharps and flats so let's go to this D note here on the fifth fret if you go a half a step up or just a fret up we would call that a D sharp now here's our D again back on the fifth fret if you go a half a step down that is a D flat so we have D D sharp D D flat so once you know the natural notes you can start filling in the accidentals or the sharps and the flats now one thing to note which we talked about in memorizing the notes on the sixth string is there's something that's called an enharmonic equivalent don't get freaked out it's totally cool the enharmonic equivalent means that it's the same pitch but with two different names so let's talk about how that's going to look on the fifth string let's go back to our D on the fifth fret so here's D now if we go back a half step we have our D flat right but what happens when we're on C and we move up a half step we can call that a C sharp so the note on the fifth string fourth fret can be called a C sharp or a D flat that's the enharmonic equivalent so just know that there are going to be several notes with two different names and that's okay some diagrams are going to show you the sharps some diagrams are going to show you the flats and some diagrams are going to show you both sharps and flats so it's totally okay but you should definitely understand both and why moving from D down is D flat and then C up is C sharp so your homework that I'd like you to do is I'd like you to write out the fretboard and first write in just the natural notes that we talked about so we're gonna keep it simple so remember A B C D E F G 
and then remember our octave A. So start with that first. Get those natural notes so you have a point of reference. Then I'd like you to fill in the sharps and the flats, okay? Now, the second part of what I'd like you to do when you're practicing is I really like using a random number generator <laughs> because it forces me to think outside of what I'd normally go to because we tend to stay maybe like right here or right here on the neck because it feels comfortable, right? Because we're kind of used to being here with our open position chords or even some simple bar chords. So we might stick around like, oh yeah, yeah, I remember this is B, this is C, yeah, this is A. But then right in here, it's like, I'm not sure what it is. Um, so I like to use a number generator and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So here's our number generator and I have it set to randomize and I'm only going up to 12. So open to 12. Now you can continue up the neck if you would like. And the nice thing is once you get to this octave, it just repeats. So you have A, then we're here, B, half step to C, D, and so on. So really what I want is you to just focus on open to 12. So you see, it's gonna, I'm gonna push the randomize. Ooh, I love this game. Oh, D. It's a D kind of day. All right. And then we randomize it to. Cool. That's our B. Feeling good about that. Now four. Lucky enough, we just talked about this. So what I'd like you to do is say, oh, that's right. Four can either be a C sharp or a D flat. Let's do a couple more. Five. We already did five. Nine. So this is a good one. We haven't talked about this one. So we know that on the eighth fret is F. And we know on the tenth fret is G. And we're looking at nine here. So we have G back is A, G flat. But F up is F sharp. So the enharmonic equivalent is F sharp and G flat. So that gives you an idea of how to start memorizing and learning uh, the, the notes on the fifth string. And there's another video out for the sixth string. So let me know if you have any questions. It's only going to take you a couple minutes to go through this every day. Or I, I don't even say like every day. I don't think that's, I don't think you need to do this every day. I think you need to do it every other day. I think four times a week, that is solid and that keeps it fresh. And I think using the random number generator will really help because it's going to force you way out of what you think you know. And then just make sure you're writing everything down and you have your reference sheet. But then when you're testing yourself, cover that up. And just make sure after you've answered it that you check it and see if you're right. And if you're not right, figure out what happened to make, to make you answer wrong. And that's how you're going to get better is it's not about not making mistakes. It's about learning from your mistakes. And I know that that can sound kind of like a cliche, but really you hope that you make mistakes so that you learn how to fix them. That's what I'm going to say about that. Okay, that's it for this one. This is a Patreon supported video, so thank you to all my patrons who are supporting me to do this and keeping me going with these. So if you're interested in finding out how to support, please go to patreon.com slash jentranny and you can see all the ways you can support and how you can also get rewarded for supporting. It's always nice when you get rewarded. <laughs> I like rewards. My cat likes rewards. Who doesn't like rewards, you know? Tell me if you don't like rewards. I'm curious. I'm curious about you if you don't like rewards. I want to know a little bit more. Not too much, though. Maybe just, like, at an arm's distance. But I'm curious, yeah, if you don't like rewards. <laughs> All right, good luck. Take this in small chunks. You got this theory stuff, I promise. See you in the next video.